Hello everyone and welcome back to the slightly more peaceful version of Falcon Reach. Uh, we have been working on defenses, we have been working on the industrial district here lately, and this episode we are going to finish up kind of the industrial district with its own kind of outpost, uh, kind of armory area for defensive purposes. And that's what I have been doing off camera, of course. As soon as I entered, as soon as I said it was a slightly more peaceful town, it's not peaceful at all. Man, let's get our archer here to do his job. Come on, you can hit. There you go. What level are you, anyways? You have been around forever, and you're still only level 15. Ugh, archers are so slow to level up because they just miss so much. Anyways, as I was saying, we are going to be working on this. This is our kind of armory section is going to be on the right. Uh, this is going to have some some light bedding for our troops. And it's just going to be a small fort. So that's going to be the cornerstone of this section here. I have been working on expanding the defensive kind of natural terrain that we have over there. More skeletons? Okay. I'm fine with skeletons. Uh, that doesn't really bother me. It's the goblins that bother me because so many of them come at once. One more. Where's look at that? Huh. Well, things are happening for sure this episode. Now, where's the. Okay, we have another. Make sure these two go towards the closest one. Marshall is stabbing away. Oh, shot over his shoulder and the skeleton is down. Wow, Starbuckle, you actually did something without shooting an ally. Good job. Props to you. You did what you're supposed to do for once. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on laying this out. And these little square bits sticking out, those are going to be towers. So until we get all the walls and everything, it's going to look a little weird. It's going to have great stone. Two layers, I think, of great stone initially. And then everything else on top of that will be castle brick. And hopefully that looks good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's bump that up one. Now some places it won't show, and we do have another skeleton. But for now, I'm more focused on building before I can tell them to charge. And wow, Marshall, you just got owned, didn't you? So, anyone care to explain to me what just happened? Because I have no idea. Like, why would he, I get the notification that something was spotted when I'm four blocks away from it? And we lost Marshall. <sighs> okay, well, that's a start of something. Maybe at some point we can introduce some, some better mechanics in this game because I'm getting a little annoyed at it at this point. And we have enough people though, so I can really replace it fairly quickly here. So we'll just grab you, our lowest miner, switch you over to infantry. Maintain your inventory, you're going to have, of course, a pole arm. Oh, we'll go with a shield, heavy helm, heavy chest, light boots and tell you to train under level 10, I guess. Seek tar targets, you're charismatic, you're charismatic and disloyal. So, welcome to the military. Join. Okay. Ow. Dodge. And kill. Wow. 
That was a pretty badass skeleton. We'll gather up his resources, see if he has any metal since he had a sword and everything. Okay, let's get rid of this. Marshall Cameron is dead. I think that's a total of four people we've lost so far. Joyous. Walls. Keep putting up our great stone. Now I'm hoping in these areas I'll be able to put the great stone on this level and then beneath it we're going to bump it out one to make it look a little bit wider here at the bottom and mountainside. And we're going to have to dig this out to make that fit better. Alright, walls and great stone. Uh, I don't really want to lose any more people. It is not very fun when that happens. But luckily, we're kind of in a good position to just constantly gain people back from it. Okay. And by like no means are we ever really close to losing this game. I think we have a total population of 31 now. We're in no major threat at all. So that'll bump up those. I don't know how many of you guys have seen the Stardew Valley series that I'm starting. It is, in my opinion, one of the most fun games I've played in a little while. Uh, I, I pretty much binge played that the other day and got a whole bunch of footage for you guys. It is very enjoyable. I pretty much like all the characters in there. If you like Harvest Moon, it's definitely a game that you guys might want to check out. Walls, more great stone. And here we can keep the great stone like that. Bring it down there. And boom and boom. So that's progress for sure. Let's go ahead and get a dividing wall in here and decide. I kind of want a door right here to go out into this little courtyard. I think that'd be pretty cool. Door, door, yep. We can put um, some shrubbery in back in that nook. That would be okay. Let's bring up the exterior here. A lot of the times, it's, it's just easier to do this using stone. And what you're doing is essentially sealing this off as a filler material. Okay. That allow us to bump out the train one block. I'm gonna have to do some digging, aren't I? Hmm. This is a problem. I mean, this is something that we kind of signed up for since we didn't really build in a flat area like normal. Let's get rid of that. Just kind of sculpt the train a little bit back into that. Construction, train. Actually, I'm going to have to do a lot of digging here. Dig, dig, dig. Uh, more stone. Need more stone. And. 
wrap that column up. Get it all nice and flush. Okay. You are level four. That's pretty cool. We're getting your awesome skills up. Also, added a little bit of a chimney here onto the engineer's hut. Um, didn't look quite industrial enough, so I added that smokestack over his furnace. Let's check this. Oh boy. Who are you? And what are you doing? Like there's some type of farmer out here. I think it's a migrant that we're about to gain, but they're about to die. Yep, they're dead. That's a shame. And our archer, of course, is just shooting a freaking tree. God dang the AI in this game. I can't deal with it that much longer. It's just stupid. And Simon's about to get hit in the face by this sword and shield skeleton. Oh. Well, got some hits off on him first, so that's always good. I'll dispose of that, too. Boy. Kind of a hectic beginning. Kind of a shame, too. Let's come over here. Take a look. Need to get rid of that. And we need to construct some stone underneath this area. To make it nice and flush with the rest. I was also thinking about maybe putting a door here somewhere and have another because we, we do need an, a, an entrance and exit out this side of the mountain just because you don't want your army to walk an hour around something just to defend yourself so it might be good to put a door here at some point oh boy how are you stuck Cool. Cool. That should be enough to reach those upper areas. Alright, put it back on double speed here. We want good progress. I'm probably going to do a speed build with this one. Um, something that I want to complete 100% for you guys this episode. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. And hopefully Nat die in the process.
All right, everyone, I hope that wasn't too jarring of a speed build, but uh, that was like an hour and cut down into two minutes. So that's pr pretty quick. Uh, also, I mean, I was building for an hour and then basically I ran out of resources. And so I had to take a lot of time to, to shift some people around so we can get enough stone again to continue building this thing. And so the speed build doesn't cover 100% of it. Um, but it covers most of, of the foundation and a lot of the wall building, but uh, the way we did everything else is not covered. So let's go ahead and go over what we did today. This is our little fort. Um, even though it's probably not that little, if you think about it, but it does its job nicely, I think. It's a nice cornerstone to our town and city area. I'm even putting ballistas on the roof, which is pretty cool. We didn't have anything like that on the last season. So we have an entrance right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to take you down into kind of the open entryway. This allows just large foot traffic to go through fairly quickly. It also has our weapon storage and stuff. Uh, from there, it gives, it gives us access to this wall and then also a tower to get up to the roof over this section here now this is the great hall for the troops this is where they would eat plan things like that the bookcases are where they would keep battle plans drawn up and maps of the area i'm sure uh, accompanied by three guard tower entrances here if we go up this guard tower is the only way to get up to the second floor and this has four beds uh one of room of course the extra room here is for like uh, the captain of the guard or something like that and everyone else has armor chests at the foot of their bed uh, this guy has a little bookcase they get chairs um, it, it turned out pretty nice I think if we keep going up we're basically greeted to the battlements that are on top of the structure I was kind of torn whether or not to put it along the edge of the structure and then put the roof in the center but I felt like doing it the opposite I've put the battlements centered on the structure and then the roof everywhere else. And I think it turned out fairly well. Um, you know, the towers have little windows. We have little pale brick um, accents going up some of the sides here. And it definitely has a nice commanding presence on the hillside. Uh, I had to retrofit a door here into this tower and that is to I can't even fly in there it's such a tight fit that's just because when i would tell people to charge off this wall they would go all the way around um to go up to that way and really they should be able to cut through the structure to get up on this wall so that's just a streamlining thing that it's kind of a second thought oh good both ballistas are done uh, they're not super functional and really i never really suggest using them they're not that great in my opinion but um yeah if you guys enjoyed the episode feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're new go ahead and hit that like button leave a comment down below on what you guys think what you'd like to be changed and things like that and i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here you all have a good one